Hey hi everyone, in this particular video we are going to learn about that how we perform the CRUD operation in MongoDB Compass. Right? So first of all when you set your connection with your port you will get to see this plus icon next to this localhost. Right? When you click on it you will get the chance to directly create your database and the collection from here. Right? So let's create a one and then we will see everything. So let's say the database name is school and the collection name is student like this right simply when you click on this create database you will get to see a new database name school is created and the collection student is also created right now if you want to add more collection to this particular database of a school you can simply go on this school right and here you will see this plus icon simply click on it and here you can create another collection let's say teacher right and if i click on create collection you can see another collection name teacher is now created right so let's come to the student collection and here first of all uh, there's an option coming since no data is present so it is coming that import the data so let's say that you are having any csv or the json file uh, which is having lots of data in it so you can simply import that with the help of this import data right but here i'm going to tell you that how you can create it manually right so uh, if you want to insert some data you can simply see on the top that after coming on this particular collection you will see this add data here simply click on it after that the first option is that your import json of the csv file that i told you earlier and the second one is insert the document simply click on it and here it will give you an example okay let me just remove everything from here and now for starting you need to first put this curly bracket like this come inside of it and now give your key colon value right give your key colon value but make sure that this time your key will also be a string means you have to quote it inside the quotation marks right name as piyush right so you can see this key is also inside these quotation marks right and the values also inside the quotation mark like this right so many people do the mistake that they don't, don't put these quotation mark in the key tab where right and that's why they face the error like if i put it like this just age so you will see this kind of thing insert not permitted while document contain error so until your document is holding some of the error it will not allow you to insert that particular document inside your collection right so make sure that everything is correct so just put it inside these quotations right now put this colon and mention the age as 22 let's say right now you can see that thing now went again right so just put a comma here and uh, now this time i'm going to insert the city right so just put the city inside the quotation like this and after that put a value of it let's say delhi like this got it now let's just uh, click on this insert and you can see my particular data is got successfully inserted and a object id is automatically generated by the mongodb right you can check the id is generated and this is that id so it is automatically generated your main task it was to insert this particular information and that you have successfully done it manually using the mongodb compass right okay great now coming up to finding one right the first one that we have uh, learned that is to create right the crud has r r is to read now if i want to read anything let's say uh, i want to read like there are a lot of data just since uh, we are having only one which is this right now right but let's say that we are having lots of document present here and i want to search anything so for searching you can see on the top there's a type of query simply just go on it and write your query now this time how we write a query simply just uh, mention any of the detail that you want let's say i want to search for the city as delhi right i want to get the data where the city is delhi which is of course this one right so you need to just go here and put the quotation mark right here also and write the key that is city and then like this put a colon i want the data which is having the city as delhi and when you click on this find you can check here when you click on this find you will get this particular data since uh, there is only one data so we have not seen anyone getting out but let's say i want I make it UP only, right? I make it UP. So city is UP. So in that case, if I do the find, you can see no result, no result. But when I make it Delhi, you get to see this particular data. Why? Because the city is Delhi is present inside this particular document, right? So this is how you do the like reading part, right? Now, CRUD has U and U is for update, 
Now, how you update a document that is present inside your compass? So for updating, you simply just come on this particular document and you will see this pen icon here on the top, which is for the edit document. Simply just click on it. After clicking, you will get to see in here that is a string int a string like these are the data types. When you click on it, you can also change the data type of that particular key, right? So like this. Now, I want to change this name, let's say. So I want to change this name to Rahul. So simply just double click on that particular value and Rahul like this. And after that, just click on this update. And you can see the name Rahul got successfully updated. Right? The name Rahul gets successfully updated. So this is how you perform the update work. Right? Update portion. Now coming up to the last, which is your delete of course. Right? So for the deletion, uh, you can see on the top again that after this edit pen in the end you will see this delete right which is for the remove document simply just click on it after clicking you will see this delete button just click on the delete button and you can see your particular document got deleted your particular document got successfully deleted and this is how you perform the delete operation right if you want to delete any particular collection just click on this three dots you can click on this drop collection just uh, tie retype the name of the collection that is student and press on this drop collection it got deleted you means your collection also got deleted now if you want to delete the database in that particular case you can check the database on the top simply just click on this delete icon present here if you click on it again you need to uh, write the name of that particular database that is school right just click on this drop database and your database also got deleted right so this is how you delete the delete operation right means you perform all the delete operations starting from that particular document to collection to database everything right so i hope you understood the concept that how we perform the crud operation in the mongodb compass thank you so much for watching goodbye